Okay, hello everyone. This is Pedro Lara, comic book artist. I'm going to do live drawing session. And probably this is going to be a short one. I I want to resolve a this frame that I think it looks looks like crap. And I thought it was a good idea to make make video out of it, make a stream out of it. I don't know, I don't like it. Does this have, no, this doesn't have, this is not 3D. The thing is, she jumps, hits him really hard. All the different colors are just how I layer I color the layers in different colors so so I know what layer is what because if everything is black it's just a mess and when I color it then I will modify those colors so pay no attention to all those colors they are just to simplify the process okay uh, Nina here it's the monster and then the monster hits back <laughs> sends Nina flying into a building but I think I think this will be better let me just copy duplicate the one and I'm going to erase a lot here I think it will be look just better if I just you know Let's erase this one because it doesn't really matter. If I just make the explosion in the building, okay, so something like this. The hell okay so this is the explosion and, and I want like stones coming out of the building like this and maybe some like for here so we are seeing the explosion and a little bit after well, not the explosion, the impact into the building in a little, a little bit after because we can see some, some stones fall into the ground. And maybe the trajectory of her when she goes into this explosion, well, this impact maybe will be it would look a little bit better. Maybe I need to like define what is going to be like the explosion, the impact. I keep saying explosion. It's an impact. Nothing has exploded. What is like the impact area of effect? There is going to be something like this. And then we will got like something here. So I wanted, I want it to look a little bit 3D, right? And also perspective. Perspective is going to be something like this. This is almost like a first point perspective, but we are seeing things a little bit from the side. So there is another big one here. Over there, over there, there is a 
let's say that this window goes like this, right? They, they obey the perspective. See? Also this, like, this obey this, this, pers this perspective. So there should be some some vanishing point over there, and there is this vanishing point over here, and there should be another over there. So it's, it's like a, almost like an 880 perspective, something like that. But don't preoccupy too much with this. See, like this, this, this perspective, this vanishing point over there is giving us all the floor, the tiling, all the 3D. Okay. So now that our perspective is decent, it's not perfect, but it's decent. I'm doing this freehand. I'm a professional, I can do that, but if you are not familiar with perspective, you can you can use a perspective grid. Don't don't do it by hand. Okay. And I was thinking that maybe since this this guy hit her, maybe we can have him here like this. So I think I think this is the problem with this scene. I think I am th I, I am breaking this 180 rule. The 180 rule. I think that's the problem. Or I think I, I haven't checked it out if I am breaking the 180 rule. Let me see. We will see real soon if that is what I'm doing here. Okay. Mm. I'm just real quick, like sketching the shape of this guy it's going to be here right so the 180 rule is that you don't change the camera angle too much like here the guy is up front and she jumps from the other side so it's like the camera turn it 180 degrees right to the side and now it's checking at the of the girl jumping and now 180 to the other side again and she hits him and then it, it, it moves a little bit around the character and he hits it back but now once we are seeing his back so i think the camera like it starts doing this 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 and break the 180 and goes like like over here so the camera has Let's make huge round uh, roundabout here. Like we started with the camera here, seeing the guy up front in this one. In this one, we can see it up front walking towards. Then she jumps. She jumps from over here. So now the camera is like over here. Like we are about the 180, right? Now we're seeing him from here. So the camera is like here, something like that. In this one, the camera is like here. So the camera is here, here, then here, and here. It's like one, two, three, four. But now the camera is here, five. So maybe we haven't break the rule. The camera has moved in this area. 
and that's okay. So that will I will make the the scene okay. It's not that this this rule cannot be broken. It's that if you are broken it, you know that you're broken it, and why why you are broken this rule. Rules are meant to be broken, but not by mistake. Don't say that you. I am breaking the rules and what you're doing is mistakes. That doesn't count. Rules are meant to be broken when you know the rules and you know what the fuck are you doing. You don't know. You're not breaking anything. You're just having accidents. That doesn't count. Okay? So if you know the 180 rule, and how it works, like I just show you, I show you how that I know what, what, what I'm what I'm doing here. Then, if you break it, you know, you're breaking it, knowing why, and probably you're, since you're knowing why, probably you're breaking it. And right, let's let's make like some shit here in the floor when the cannon hit hit him. Gonna make some holes here and there. A lot of rubble here and there. Okay, this plaza has been has seen a lot of shit going on, and okay, probably buildings here. that follow this perspective, this one point perspective, something like this. So we can see like the streets that go like over there, something like that. Okay. When I want the explosion to go, probably hiding, hiding all those details, not explosion, the impact. Probably this is better than we we we, we had before because I want to make this like he's sending her over there. I know this is a lot of lines and I'm probably going to clean, not definitely I'm going to clean it up with pencil. Sorry, with inks. I cannot speak today. Okay. So this was the impact. And she goes. And then the next one is she waking up. So even if you don't see her, you just it's just your it's just your intuition like you see her hitting him here then he hits back and you you feel that what he hits back is her and send her back into this the side of the building creating this big impact and then she wake is waking up so you understand that what what's happened i think it's better more fluidity and then poof, the big guang falls, like saying, thank you. Thank you for softening this guy for me. I think I'm taking him from, from here. So I, th I think this is a better, this is a better, a better drawing. At least a better, better frame than the other one. I need the grid, the grid to make like just a very simple, simple, simple. I don't know what I'm 
doing here. Just like architectural design. So just architecture. Like random windows and things, things like that. I don't want to be too exact with this. It's just giving you the idea what kind of town it is, and that's it. This is weird. I can see, I can see that mark, that watermark of the software. Just that they didn't show up. But I, I think the watermark is okay because now everything looks smooth. With the OBS, it didn't look smooth. We'll research and see if I can like, if I can make the OBS look smooth. I'm pretty sure you can. It's just that my settings, I, fucked, I think I fucked up the settings. I fucked up the settings. So I want to show here like a lot of the destruction that has happened in the plaza. Okay. So yeah, this is a mess. But then I go like here, a little bit below the 50%. And see, likeness 41 is below the 50%. Lightness 50% would be right in the middle. The one a little bit below. Let me take out a little bit of the grit. The grit. So now it's cleaner. And, and I think this, even though it looks like a mess, I can start inking. Okay. So this guy I don't want, to, I, I, or I, I don't have to make like a great render of this guy. I don't have to make a great render. It's just, just so you know, it's the same guy it has the weird hands on his back. So random deer clothing, the other hand. Okay, clothing here, very sparingly defined. I don't want to define too much here. Back muscles, back anatomy. Back anatomy is simple, it's like, like this. Something like this, the back anatomy. Kind of, kind of look like a face. Kind of look like a lion face. See? That's the anatomy of the back. Nothing too clever. That I did it by memory. I am not looking at, at the drawings for anatomy. Maybe if I look, uh, it, it, it can be refined a little bit. But with that information, this, this does look like a pack. So I think it's okay. Mm -hmm.
John, I may need to stop this stream probably at in, in about half an hour, 40 minutes, probably an hour, probably 40 minutes. So let's see if I can make this fast. Okay. Just not, not super detail. It's not super detail. This guy. It's just. Just so you know. This pose. It's this same pose, right here, right. Let's take this quick, quick back anatomy, meaning drawing. And let's add the metallic sheets. So, you know, and in colors, it's going to be even more evident at what you're looking at. Still, sometimes just there are people that go like, what is happening here? I don't understand. And probably they are right. Probably they are right. Probably I did a stupid job. That's why they don't understand. Because I did something stupid. It's not the reader's fault if they don't understand. It's your fault. Always. Always is your fault. If the reader don't understand, it's your fault. But better, sometimes readers are idiots. Okay, if idiot readers are reading your comic and they are not understanding, that means that you are not understanding your target market. You're reaching to idiot people and giving them something that they don't, they will not understand. Probably they are not idiot. The idiot is you, right? They are not going to understand because you make it too complicated for the audience. So know your audience so you know what you're doing. In this case, I know that my audience is action-oriented audience. People that want to see action and action should be fluid. Action should be predictable. What the hell is going on, right? I, I, I need to understand what is happening. Very dynamic and very fluid. So if I make it a mess, this target market is not going to understand. And it's not their fault, it's my fault. Because I wasn't clear. Right? So it's always your fault when when your your audiences don't understand what you're doing. You got to be better then. Better a storyteller. Better uh at communicating what the hell is going on. Okay. So if nobody understands this, I will have to redraw it. I will have to. That's another thing. For whom, not for whom, but why? Why are you making the story? Why are you taking your time to make a story? Well, you wanna tell the story, right? To who are you telling the story? To whoever listens to you, right? So you're you're being a communicator, you're communicating something. So communicators, one of the Special features communicators have is that they 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 create a message or whatever they create and other people can't understand it because they communicate properly. Probably I'm not communicating properly because English is not my first language. But if you understand what I meant, then then I did it. 
I communicate properly. Maybe not the best, but it worked. Okay. Like this, this, this feels, this feels like an impact. I like that. This feels like an impact. And I don't want to create, like to make this here because I think it already happens here. And this is later. So he just sustaining the pow the pose. He's just holding the pose, the pose. Pose. Like being cool and shit. Like when, like the hero landing, the, the, the heroes land. Like this hero landing. I try to avoid the hero landing pose. It's not like one hand behind and, and one leg up and the other one, the, in the kneel in the floor. In, no, no, no. He falls like falls like if you like a parkour will fall. Parkour. Parkour. Cool. I guess parkour will fall. They fall like this with both hands and both feet at the same time. So they distribute all the weight. In different points and they don't hurt themselves falling from high i made my research so maybe i use lines i should use lines here i should use lines but very thin lines i'm stupid this Not so thin. Yes. See? So let's test. This looks like, like this guy made. <laughs> Boom. If at this level you can read it, everything else is just. Ornament to what has been established. Yes, this is like a rock uh, hitting the ground and bouncing. Another one here. Hits and bounce. Yeah. Hits and bounce, hits and bounce. I should make like the body here of the defeated, like the defeated calling here. It's like, but very unrecognizable. Like he, he's dead now. It's just. And it's in his metal, or he's just merging a little bit with the ground and smoking because they they burn him and melt him. So something like this.
Mm. And this, this ray, do I want to make that information here? I don't know. Let's say that that, that is off camera because I don't want to add too much information that is going to be confusing. I don't want to confuse you. I want you to be entertained. Some children on the street. If you get the audio. So my my studio has is has like this open area that is near to the the street. And Sometimes children play outside, so you can hear the children talking and joking around. I like it because if, if the children are always around close my house, uh, I think it's the safest place in the whole hood. Where there are children is safe. So probably my, my, this corner in my house is the safe, one of the safest place in the hood. So when, when they are playing hide, hide and seek on my uh, garage where, where I park my car um, they hide behind my car I don't care use use my house for playing ground there are children safe okay so So I am doing this quite a lot. Like I do it here. I do it here. I do it here. <laughs> not here, not here. 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 And now here, like a lot, lots of bursts. Is this a burst? It's like a burst. I don't know the name of this thingy. This bursty thing. Probably I'm overusing it. Probably. I'm going to add some smoke. It's not smoke, it's, it's like dust clouds from the impact against concrete and the stone so you get these clouds it's just an impact an explosion Okay. Nina, she is a woman, very, 
very sexy and strong but she's not a normal woman she's a vampire so she can sustain this damage in fact she's like no this is not over i'm going back so she's not don't worry about her she's okay she's going to be fine <sighs> I don't know who the hell I'm going to color this. Probably just page. Yes, yes, page. It's the color of a normal impact on a wall of stone. Concrete. It's just like dust color. Dust color with some clear, clear, like beige and um, lighter beige. And that's it. I think the children are about to start playing here. They are noisy. They are noisy, but I don't care. I, I am more noisy when I, when I practice with my bass. When I practice tool songs with my bass and a perfect circle. And sometimes nine inch nails, very Manson. So I don't care. Okay, we have here another one. What I'm doing here is like like the impact is multi-layer, right? Doom, 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 doom. See? It's not like just one, it's one, two, three, four, five layers. Or layers of explosion, reverberation, or something like that. I don't know what's the name of this. And this is a rock that were impact and fly more, more in the sky, on the sky, in the air. It's not the sky. Oh, everything's okay, okay, go. See? with the heat ding ding this one probably is heavier it's a heavier rock so it like goes out and then it start falling fast right it's heavier so i may need to draw this rock more like, bigger 
to draw her bigger. Draw her. I say her because rocks in Spanish are feminine. Piedras. Las, pie las piedras. That is the rocks. I didn't, didn't draw her bigger. So it's a big, bigger rock. Don't render it too much. It's just chew. See? It feels like this one is going to fall faster, given the size of these ones, uh, that travel even more. And it's, it's about the same impact. That's how you create weight. You need to make reference of something first to reference that things first and then the other things uh, there are about the same but in different qualities it could be weight uh, given the reference they behave a little bit different that's how you do it Sounds complicated, but it's actually not. Just, just follow your instinct. So it's like these these rocks are just just flying, and then like this one fly faster, probably closer to the impact, and these ones are not so close to the impact. So this this is more like this is more like shock damage and this is more like like cloud and dust that just went outwards outwards from the damage and since everything is going outward to create that uh, energy feeling feel like the feel that the energy is coming going out <sighs> maybe I can have something here See how is how this is looking so far. Should should have like a a bow here, bow bow. How how do you sound? What is the sound of this? No, I think it's the sound like of rocks cracking rocks are cracking here it's like it needs to have some crack this sound if i make a sound effect i make sound effects like for bullets in this comic what else for laser for heavy steps I have made. So if I make a sound for heavy steps, definitely this should have a sound, isn't it? It's like 
this would sound louder than heavy steps. Pretty sure that would be the case. Okay. Almost done with the explosion. Not explosion, with the impact. Okay. Almost done with the impact. Mm. I hope the children doesn't touch me and say where I live. <laughs> hey, come on to the house number number this on this hood. We're playing here. Okay. I'm going to use those marks that I made to create this. Say, oh, close. Okay. No, no, no. Just keeping the design a little bit busier so you understand or you you read not understand you read this as a building not not as a wall or as a I know it can be whatever, a mountain, I don't know. But I want you to read it as a building. So, windows and all those details should be evident here. Right. But also, the building is a little bit far. So, she, she, she travels quite a distance. So, Things are not going to be so big. Things are going to be medium size and small size for the size of the frame, but in relationship to what is happening around it. Okay. I think break this this building probably after this uh, attack to the village is going to be demolished because the damage that has sustained through the whole attack is quite a lot, quite a lot of damage to this building. So this building is not going to be able to to remain and probably is going to be demolished afterwards so i'm going to make even more cracks but the thing is that i use it i use this building as, as a main line landmark something easy to draw something that whenever you see it on the in the comic you will notice what, where you are. That was the main idea behind the creation of that building. It's like a prop. Let's say this is um, a play in the theater. So they have this building as a prop and it's been reused over and over.
I'm loading just to see because I used this building several times. I want it to be. Yes. It has like a tower with a watch, but I think it's far behind, far, far behind. So I was drawing here, but it here looks like it's, it's just close. But no, I think it's going, I think it's going over there. It's going over there. So not very vis visible, not very visible. Okay, so see, everything looks more clear now than when I did the pencils. You know, I want to make like dust, like cloud dust, at ground, ground level here. So I don't have to draw exactly where the ground meets meets the buildings because my perspective may be wonky here. That's that's the thing with perspective. Perspective is Not a straight line. Perspective is something that your brain catches fairly, fairly accurately. I'm not saying that your brain can reproduce it accurately, but catches it. It's, it's like rhythm. Somebody may be off key in a band playing in a band but if you don't if you don't have like your ear trained for music you may don't even notice it you don't notice nobody notice when 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 the bass player is off key nobody knows the bass player right i say that to the to my to my band members of all the time nobody knows it. nobody's listening to me nobody's listening to me they are listening to the vocalist because they know the lyrics. If they don't know, they, they don't know the lyrics. They are not even listening to the vocalist and to the drummer. That one, if he loses a bit, everybody goes like, ah, ah, because everybody is moving the head up and down, up and down, up and down like this. Dum, dum, da, dum, 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 da, dum. So you you hear just that if I shut up the rhythm is still going in your head. The rhythm is automatic, automatic. People get the rhythm. Right? So like the brain, the brain captures the rhythm really really easily easily and so the same happens with perspective perspective would be like the rhythm of a drawing is perspective and every brain notice when you miss the rhythm <laughs> when you are off beat every brain notice it I think I am here off bit. View, grid, show grid. I'm here off bit. Uh, yes, I am off bit. See? This is like here. This should be like over there. Doesn't matter, I'm going to make a lot of, of lines to hide my mistakes. By the end of the day, it should be straight. Straight. If it's not straight, brain notices.
in fact, I w w like I train myself uh, to follow the rhythm, right? That's that's one of the main tasks. The pace is to to follow the rhythm and to make like a link between the rhythm and the melody. So I train myself so hard to, to make that, that it's hard for me to explain to you how it sounds when, when, when you are off the rhythm. If I go, tum, tum, pa, tum, 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 pa, tum, pa, will be like, pa, or something like that. And then it's, it's like, what the hell, that, that guy is, is not in, in the beat. It's not in the beat. Sounds weird. Same happen. Same thing happens with perspective. This perspective is on. It's not. It's not on the grid. This looks weird. Okay, if this if these windows didn't align with, with this line with this grid, look weird. Or this line. It's hard to me to make, for me to make an off beat. It's easier with the bass when you're playing like funk because the funk bass players have created some techniques that makes you more funky and off beat like this slap and pop. So if you go that one goes off bit. But it's because you are slapping and then popping. Stomping, pumping. And when when you slap on beat and when you when you take your finger out after the beat, you automatically are off beat. So it's easier. It's easier to to go to accentuate the offbeat when you're playing uh, funk. What the hell? Why did I make so much, so many details here? Get out. Come on. Why saving the recovery like every 15 minutes? One second. Yes. Yes. A recorded file is still saving. What the hell? Probably this is not perfectly aligned on grind on grid, but The whole thing is kind of under the grid, so it's kind of okay. 
kind of well. And just just did a lot of detail for this building because it's the one that is going to be rendered. The other ones are going to be just hinted. I'm just hinting here things, but no, nothing, nothing to to detail. Okay, just hints. Same for this one. It's just hinting shit. Somebody here in the house going to close this one see my wife arrives so yeah finish this one for a while came back a little bit later thank you very much I think that's the idea. That was the idea to fix, to fix this frame, make it more readable. Why is this taking so long to save? I want to show the, the final frame before closing. I have a new follower, Labor, Labor. Thank you very much, Labor. Didn't notice it. Sorry, I didn't notice it nine hours ago. Okay. I'm gonna hide, let's hide the grid and let's clean this a little bit. So this shows a little bit better. Okay. This is it. Thank you very much. See you later, a little bit later in the night. Bye.